Hey, this is the Carpet Guy and I'm back. We're going to show you another use for these pairs of scissors. Again, standard scissors. You can get these at any, uh, uh, I, always try to name, I always try not to name names. I almost want to say whatever. You can get these anywhere. Good pair of scissors. You usually buy them in a two or three pack, wherever it is you buy your uh, home goods. I'm going to show you a little bit of a different technique. The spot we're working on right now is wax. Smiley's going to go ahead and come down here. We're going to show you this one. Now you can see we got a couple of different issues here. This one here is going to be kind of harder to see, but I think on the video it'll come out pretty good. I know it's hard for me because I'm not looking at the video screen, but I don't know if you can hear that. Or I bet you can see it. See the dents that I'm making in the. I got a big wad of wax right here, and I got another big wad of wax right here. It's down about half to two thirds of the way in the fiber, so I'm not going to be able to cut that completely out. Well, this one is just kind of. Some of the edges of it are on top, and then some of the middles, again, about half, third of the way down. But the first thing I'm going to do with these scissors is I'm going to see I got a oops, see I got a blunt tip on one side, kind of. You know that this side on this side's kind of blunt versus this side, which is it's still kind of blunt, but it's it's a little bit more pointy. First thing I'm going to do with this is I'm just notice I haven't put anything on here yet. I'm just going to start breaking this wax up into cement, and notice I'm not cutting. I'm just kind of using those scissors to just kind of pry in through there and you'll start to see you know I get a bunch of wax all over the place but I'm just gonna work on this one chunk right here on the side and you can see how deep those are down in the fiber that goes clear all the way down into the base of the fibers but what's actually happening I don't know can you see this smiley how it's actually scraping the wax mm -hmm. I'm actually using I mean I'm, I'm actually using the knot well I'm actually I'm using the cutting edge and, and I'm literally just scraping the wax up and off of the fibers and you can see the big chunks coming all over the place and that's one of the reasons why we decided to shoot this one here because it's, as it's as you can see it's nice dark blue carpet so nice light wax is showing up really good wax that was kind of funny <clears throat> right now and then I get one of those weird words that just kind of slips out spying like wax we've been hanging around with too many pelicans wax wax as you know from watching these videos sometimes I crack myself up and I'm doing it right now but you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of gently working my way into the fibers. Now again, I, am I slightly damaging the carpet here? Sure I am. I mean, I'm getting pretty aggressive with scraping on this thing, but again, I got a big wax spot here I'm trying to deal with. So I'm, I'm being as gentle as I can. You can see right here, I don't know how well you can see that. Now I'm running into another big chunk again. So see, I'll take that point down there and I'm just poking down in there again. I'm just, I'm just breaking the wax up as much as I possibly can. You can see what I have now. I've actually, you can see all the individual tufts of the fibers. When I first started, that was just one big wad. And actually, this is a really interesting way to do wax spots because you can see if I rub that this way, that big glob of wax right there that used to look like it was about three times bigger than this big glob of wax is now just about completely invisible. Now, I don't have all the wax off again. See, I'm not even close to getting it all away, but it doesn't look like it on the top. Because again, I'm just working this up, and you can see I'm, I'm catching, I'm pulling a tuft out every now and then. Now again, the thinner your carpet is, the more gentle you need to be with these because you're, uh, you're definitely going to, you know, risk some damage onto the carpet. Now I'm not going to perform this task just simply because it's just going to be ridiculously loud if I do it. Because we're cleaning with our portable equipment and it's th a three vacuum portable, it's very loud. But the next thing I'm going to do with this that you'd be able to do at home, see what's happening? Actually, look at the back of my fingers. It almost looks like I've been painting. I've actually just got a whole bunch of chunks of wax floating around. i got a big pile sitting here all around me. And notice I have used absolutely nothing to dissolve the wax with whatsoever. I mean, I'm working on this thing. I actually have already cleaned this carpet, so it's a little bit damp. But other than that, and a little, I did spray just a little bit of detergent on it, but not much because I knew it wasn't going to do anything because I'm dealing with wax. But again, I can just keep working that like that. Now, if you want to get a little bit less aggressive or you have bigger chunks, um, a butter knife will work very well. Um, certain small forks. Now, here's a good example of what other thing you can use the scissors for. Here, I got one tuft right here with a big chunk of wax on it. See that? I can just trim that bad boy right off of there. There, now there you can there there here you, you can't see it I'm probably guessing too well but I'm squeezing real hard on my scissors and I can't get them to close that's where I still got a big chunk of wax right there I'm having a real hard time cutting that and again that's all the way down through there's another thing you can do there 
is keep working your scissors down into the bases of what you have and you can start snipping them into pieces. You'll see how I keep flipping the stuff over out of my way and I don't keep trying to attack the same piece of wax that I've already actually nipped off the surface. But you can see I've just got that I've just about got that to the point right now. Again, I got a little divot right there from where I was snipping. But I'm just going to keep working on this and various. You can also see how I like to use the scissors this way. See all the fuzz, but you know, see all the stuff coming out? Almost looks like white paint or something. Now, again, once I get to the point where I'm starting to pull fiber out like that, I know that's as aggressive as I can get to it. But this, which started off as a big gooey chunk of wax, is now just about worked its way completely out. I got a couple more over here, and these these actually won't even, sh I don't think you can see these in the video. Actually, you know what, you probably will once I start working on Watch what happens here. See how you couldn't even see that wax a second ago? And now it's all turning white. Now, you're probably wondering if I am going to use, oh, let's talk about one of the, one of the things you'll find on the internet that says you should free, you can freeze wax out with a piece of ice cube. Folks, if you have the patience to do that, I'll tell you what works, and I've never done it, but I've heard of people that have, dry ice will work. Or if you happen to have some liquid nitrogen, liquid nitrogen will do a great job. Now, <clears throat> I suppose there might be a possibility of somebody out there in video land watching that actually has some liquid nitrogen, but I would suspect that that number is probably relatively infinitesimally small. If a million people watch this video, maybe one or two of them would actually have access to liquid nitrogen, because that would work great. You can pour some on there, you know, that thing would all crack up and you could, you know, bang on it with a hammer like, you know, you see them bust the rose, you know. I mean, that would probably work, but again, it's just not practical. To use ice, now you got ice, then you got water, and it all melts all over the carpet, and you never really get the wax cold enough, and nine times out of ten, you can get a lot of it out this way. Now, step number two is, again, I'm going to, I'm going to, you can use your shop vac or even just your regular old vacuum cleaner, but step number two is going to be this. I'm just going to vacuum as much of that stuff away and I'll keep repeating this process breaking it up with the scissors vacuum breaking it up with the scissors vacuum break it up with scissors you know keep doing that till I get as much of it out as I can then and only then am I going to worry about putting some type of a solvent on there which is a similar product that you could use at home would be goo gone or goof off now this is critical do not and it says very clearly on the bottle you know well I don't say they're for use on carpet but I will tell you you have to rinse that stuff out you have just dumped a solvent on the carpet that is strong enough to take the wax out it'll also eat the primary backing of the carpet which is the stuff that holds the tufts in you can't see it it's in between that tic-tac-toe board on the back and then the carpet's woven into a real tight mesh you've seen me talk about this a million times in between that's a layer of clay and latex you dump a bunch of goo gone or goof off or any type of solvent down on there, a delimaline, which is the orange based stuff, and to get the wax out, you must go back and rinse that very, very thoroughly with water. And most of those products are very difficult to rinse. If you do a spot about this big and say you use, I don't even know, just a couple of squirts uh, and use it very, very sparingly, you will probably need to rinse that out with four or five ounces of water multiple repeated times with either a, you know, some type of wet dry vac. You know, they always prefer a wet dry vac over the home carpet unit simply just because they have a lot more horsepower and they're going to vacuum more. But you have to make absolutely sure that you rinse those out. So, steps. You saw everything I did right there with the scissors at the beginning of the video. Keep scraping, keep vacuuming, keep scraping, keep vacuuming, keep repeating that process until you've got it pretty much all done. Then you can add in your solvent. And then make sure, make absolutely positively sure, make no mistake about it, you leave solvent in that carpet and don't rinse it out. It's either going to turn black because the solvent's going to dry and get really, really sticky and every piece of dirt from here to the other end of your universe is going to stick to it. I mean, it'll attract dirt from half a mile away. Got to rinse those solvents out. That is absolutely 100% imperative. You've got to rinse those solvents out. <clears throat> if you got any questions, shoot me an email. All the information down the sides. Love having you here. Glad you enjoyed this. Another use for the magic scissors. This is the Carpet Guy, signing off.